Hey guys, it's Taylor with Funnelish, and today I'm going to show you step one of getting started with your Funnelish account. So what we're going to be doing is adding our funnels and our products inside of Funnelish. So you're going to want to start with your tab pulled open on the Funnelish dashboard, and then in another tab you want to have the ClickFunnels funnel page that we're going to be that you want to add first. So we're going to go over here and click Funnels. We're going to click Create New Funnel. Click Continue and add the name of your funnel. Always try to do the same exact name that you have on ClickFunnels. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, paste it in, and now what we're going to do is add our pages. So you're going to say new step and then click what type of page it is which will be the same as over here. So I have my opt-in page because I'm just collecting emails. So I'm going to click opt-in first. The name of that page was squeeze page. And for the URL, what I'm going to do is go ahead over here. I'm not going to copy this. Don't copy from there. What you're going to want to do is click to preview that full URL, let the page load, and then copy the full URL up at the search bar. Now we're going to paste that in. And if you have a split test, you'll, what you can do is just copy that and then just change this, this path over here to whatever you have in your split test. I'm going to click done. Now I'm going to add my next step which is my order page because I'm collecting payment on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and name it sales page because that's the same over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to click and get the full URL. I'm going to preview it. Copy the full URL. and paste it there. And last one I'll do is my thank you page, which I have named order confirmation. And I will paste that full URL, same thing. Go actually visit it. All right, so that's my full funnel in there. You can do this with as many funnels as you want. And so now to add a product, we're going to click on any of the pages where you're making the sale. So it could be your order form, your upsell page, or a downsell page. So you'll see this over here. You'll click add new product. You can choose whether it's one time or a recurring or subscription. Click continue. Now you're going to want to do the same name and price that you have in your product page on ClickFunnels. So we'll click products. I have the name, awesome test product, and it's $10, so I will do the exact same information here. Alright, and that's it. That's step one.